We're going to show you in this video how to create an issue. And uh, are there any special considerations, or is it just normal, run of the mill, it, it's, creating an it's, issue? It's very straightforward. Yeah. So uh, you would just go to uh, on, on the if you go to the specific repo that you want to create an issue for. Um, so whatever issue you're creating, you can create an issue about just about anything. If it's a bug, it's a new feature you think that should be put in, um, anything. If you, if you anything that uh, you need to talk about something related to the code that may not need code that may or need to talk about something that may not necessarily even need yeah. code, but it just but something related to Greer Commons, create an issue for it. Uh, the, it all works. So just find a repo that looks like it would uh, be somewhat related to whatever your issue, whatever you uh, are creating issue for. Um, and you can, and uh, just go into that particular repo. Um, on the left, go to issues. And then uh, the green button in the upper right, new issue, uh, will let you create a new issue. So give it a descriptive name. So uh, this is a test issue. So you would want this to be descriptive enough that it can be read uh, and understand what this is when it's in a big list of issues. So um, so just something like uh, fix bug is not a good issue name. Uh, that will get it clicked on, but that's not actually very helpful for just figuring out what that is. Say... Uh, fix bug with login or whatever. Yeah, login is not working. Yeah. It is a little, is a little bit better. Yeah. Th then you can know what that is and you can know, oh, that's something that probably needs to be fixed like now. Um, so I'll just leave that there. Um, so the title should be like maybe a sentence is good. Uh, a short sentence. And the description is uh, would be multiple, hopefully multiple sentences describing whatever the issue is. Um, if it's a bug, uh, what, how, how can you create, how can you recreate the bug? Um, if you got pictures, uh, this, uh, this thing support, you can just click attach a file and, and, uh, put pictures in, or you can just drag and drop a file from somewhere on your, from somewhere into here. Um, whatever you want. Uh, if it's a new feature, describe your new feature in detail. Um, so login is not working. I'd say when you log in with a password that is short, shorter than three characters, it will not let you. And that that's that's actually descriptive enough. You it tells you what the you know it's login's not working. You know here's exactly how it works, and you can and whoever's t uh, trying to fix this is able to recreate it. Um, this is probably maybe on the short end for a description, but it's detailed enough to actually solve the problem or to figure out what the problem is, and so this would be good enough. Um, if you just want to immediately get started on working on it yourself, you can just hit assign to me, or you can just leave it as unassigned so someone can pick it up. And then labels, we've got a good amount of labels. Um, when it finishes loading them. Uh, it's taking a long time. Anyhow, they'll anyway, show up. They, they, they'll show up. There's a bunch of labels for things like bug fix, new feature, low priority, if you think it's not really that important, but something to remember later. Um, if you got an issue that depends on some other issue, like there's some problem in the, uh, if, like there's some problem in the utils uh, repo that uh, is blocking uh, so that's causing an issue in like course, create an issue in both utils, utils to fix the original problem, create an issue in course, and uh, in, in the one in course, put the uh, blocked label to show that it's blocked until the one in utils is fixed, and make sure you note the, the issue that's causing it to be blocked in the description too. Um, uh, bug fixes for anything problems. Um, emergency bug fix should be for something that's stopping greater comments from running. Uh, this is basically, this is a top priority. This needs to be fixed in order to keep Greater Commons working. Uh, shouldn't be a problem most of the time. Uh, low priority, needs discussion is for anything where it's not really needing to be worked on immediately, it needs to be talked out more, you need people to talk, uh, give you ideas, etc. New feature and refactor is a, if, if you don't think things should be changed but the code seems bad seems to be seems poor and could be cleaned up or something's running slow and you want to make it faster um, 
some repos have got more uh, bad uh, more labels than others. Um, front end, for example, has badges has labels for uh, HTML, CSS, and JavaScript individually. Um, most of them just have this basic list of labels, though. So not every issue needs a label, but if you if one of the labels matches, check it. If two of the labels matches match, check them both, and then hit submit issue to create the issue. Cool. Um, so I will do so just as a to show, demonstrate. And so now you've got an issue. Um, and then other people can comment on it. It'll show up in the big issues list. Um, and then uh, whenever it's fixed, uh, it can be closed. And a closed issue will not show up in the lists. Thanks. Anything else? Uh, that's, that's it. So yeah, create issues. Talk as much as you want. Uh, I will look at I look at every single issue that's not in front end. Uh, we our, our front enders look at the issues that are in front end, but any any anything that's in any other repo besides front end, I will look at. 